so this gober gas plant or biomass plant is but plant is a very important use of technology in conventional sources another one is the wind energy wind energy uses the concept of kinetic energy being converted into electrical energy of course this wind energy in the windmills earlier was in olden days was used to lift water from the wells as you can see in the villages and basically the structure consists of uh, a tall tower so it's very high for the simple reason that a lot of wind can be captured uh, at a height so it has to be a tall structure a tower on which are attached uh, on which is attached um, um, a fan with large very large blades so this is a fan with very large blades the wind is supposed to hit the blades and it rotates the fan the axle of the fan is connected to the shaft of the dynamo shaft of the dynamo it's as simple as that so the wind moves the shaft and the shaft as so the the axle and the axle moves the shaft of the dynamo and that produces electrical energy right it is the kinetic energy of the wind converts into this so these days because of the technology we convert kinetic energy of the wind into the electrical energy now what happens is that the amount of energy produced electrical energy produced by this method is fairly small okay and therefore because it is a very small amount of energy what we do is to uh, join many windmills many of them together and then we call it as a wind farm wind farm over a very large area you have to have many such towers over large area and they connect together and they they work together and therefore you have large area in your large area you have something called a wind farm and this produces a reasonably uh, good amount of energy in india we have not used even though we have a large amount of uh, flow, flowing wind here we don't uh, we don't have uh, very very much of electrical energy produced by this source sweden is very good sweden is known to be a country of winds sweden germany is very good in producing uh, this energy this kind of energy and we it is known that we can ca obtain 45000 mega mega is 10 to 6 watt of energy from the uh, from this source we can obtain we have done very little about it we have in tamil nadu we have a farm which produces roughly uh, 380 to 400 megawatt in gujarat also we have some which produces roughly the same amount but nowhere near 45000 so we need to work on this though there are advantages and disadvantages and the problems disadvantages we wouldn't call we call them problems so what are the advantages let's see this one obvious advantage is that it is a renewable source okay once you have the uh, um, wind coming it is it, you you constantly have a source of wind so i it is called as a renewable source okay you have a constant supply of wind secondly it is environment friend, friendly environment friendly no pollution at all no pollution at pollution at all which is a big thing because we spend a lot of energy tackling the pollution <laughs> energy production produces pollution and then we use energy to get rid of that pollution so pollution is is self defeating and therefore something which is environment friendly is a is a mighty good idea so it is environment friendly it is fairly efficient it is fairly efficient again there are no recurring Uh, uh, expenses no recurring expenses or cost once you have put up the structure then the uh, cost in running it is negligible and and therefore it is rather uh, useful in that sense but what are the problems many problems eh? okay that is why india is not done much about it those those problems can be handled and are being handled in other countries the first problem is 
that it is used only in those places where the wind blows for a greater part of a year. So you have a wind blow to a reasonable for a reasonable duration. Otherwise, what is the point? Okay, it is true that the electricity can be stored. So if wind is blowing in say few months, monsoon months, etc., and you produce electricity, you storage it in the store cells, storage cells, and then you can use it later on. So in that case, duration doesn't come in the picture, but it does because the storage cells cost money. So if you, as it is, this uh, production of wind energy, use of, use of wind energy is expensive, and added to it, if you have the storage cells, then it it is not a very economical thing, and therefore we can have this kind of energy production only in the places where the duration is high of wind blowing. Not only that, the the velocity of the wind has to be at least 15 kilometers per hour. Okay, so a gentle wind is not going to produce uh, is not going to rotate the dynamo shaft. Uh, well enough to produce appreciable an amount of energy, right? So velocity has to be greater than or equal to 15 kilometers per hour to have a reasonable kind of uh, electricity production. So this is something. Then there has to be we have to have a large area. So it requires very large areas. Remember, it is not a problem in India. We have we go travel in the train and large areas you can see. Are, are are available uh, which are which have no vegetation and there is nothing happening there nothing growing there and you do have large areas in india which are not ha cohabited by people so large areas are required because the amount of energy produced is less and so you need big large wind farms so large areas are required then it is expensive okay the cost is high to produce those large towers Okay, the cost is high, initial cost is high and uh, even the maintenance is difficult. Maintenance, the reason being that these towers are open to the sun and of course wind, rain okay. or instead of wind you can say uh, wind probably as low velocity wind is not going to be harmful but if you have storms then there is a problem. So, because of this the whole structure is uh, needs a lot of maintenance. So, these are the problems uh, they have to be tackled before we produce enough amount of electrical energy from this particular source. All right. 